Hi, my name is Loic Bisong and welcome to Black Gentleman Media. And the purpose of today's video is respect. First, just a message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Savarut African Shea Butter at www.savarut.com. Do you have problems with irritated skin or dry skin? Or do you suffer from some kind of scars or stretch marks? African Shea Butter is perfect for you. African Shea Butter has a whole lot of healing properties and also has is packed with vitamins. You can find their Shea Butter in this elegant jar at www.savarut.com. Now, back to the video. So, what is respect? Respect, you can define it as valuing others' feelings and thoughts and insights and their rights. It creates a positive and inclusive environment where everyone feels respected and valued. It fosters healthy relationships and mutual understanding. Now, how do you show respect? A few common examples might be holding the door or polite language such as please and thank you. This is a really big one for young boys because sometimes it goes overlooked and you might think, I don't need to say it, but I promise you it will make all the difference. Remember, manners maketh man and man is all that he thinks about. So if you have a respectful attitude and a respectful attitude, people are more, more likely to reciprocate. Now, listening, giving your full attention to someone when they speak, make eye contact, nod and, res and respond appropriately. That doesn't mean you always have to agree, but giving them your, your full attention will make them feel valued and understood. Acknowledgement. When someone says something or contributes uh, to a subject or ha puts their opinion out there, it's important to acknowledge that their opinion matters. Again, you might not agree with it, but acknowledging it will make them feel respected. Tolerance. Seems more and more these days, people are more tribal and less tolerant. Gentlemen are not uh, of this kind of view. You accept differences in opinions, cultures, and lifestyles without judgment. Remember, not everyone is the same. We were all brought up in different cultures, and some people come from all over the world, and they're just here with you momentarily. So it's important to be considerate and just tolerant. Right, That's what tolerance is all about. It says, I understand that we didn't grow up in the same environment, under the same circumstances, but I am willing to tolerate um, your situation, okay? Now, practical uh, applications, for example, at home, you can help with the chores, whether it's taking out the trash, cleaning up the kitchen, cleaning up the bathroom, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Respecting privacy, and being considerate. At school, be kind to your classmates. Follow the rules and respect your teachers. In public, treat service workers and strangers and peers with courtesy. Again, holding the door, right? Some people think holding the door is just for maybe the girl that you like or a cute girl and you think oh i'm gonna hold the door for her so that she likes me more i say hold the door open for everyone why it's a it's a sign of courtesy it's it shows that you are considerate it shows that you are actually a gentleman and here at black gentleman media our goal is to walk you from boyhood into manhood in a healthy and respectful way. Now the benefits of respect include things such as trust, 
reputation, and peace. And trust me, as you grow up, you'll find out peace and peace of mind are the most important. Well, so when you show respect to people, they're more likely to trust you and it strengthens relationships. Reputation, it creates a positive image and earns respect in return. So when you respect others, they're more likely to respect you. You can just think about the opposite way. If you disrespect others, they're more likely to disrespect you. So if you see someone who's always down on their luck and you try to help them and they're disrespectful to you, guess what? They'll probably stay in that situation because they're more likely to disrespect everyone they meet. So show respect and you'll get the same respect back. And even if you don't get the same respect back, you've done your part, my opinion. Now, moving on to the second part, self-respect, which I believe should have been the first because in order to respect others, you must respect yourself. So self-respect is recognizing and honoring your own worth and dignity. Now, it forms a foundation of self-esteem and personal integrity. A lot of people struggle with self-esteem and self-worth because they haven't built this amount of self-respect within themselves. Um, and, and so they find it hard to respect other people, which is understandable. Now, positive self-talk can help build self-respect. It encourage, uh, we encourage positive affirmations and in another video i'm sure i'll be uh, telling you a few of my uh positive affirmations that i use to make sure that i am uh, thinking positively throughout the day positive self-talk and replacing negative thoughts with positive ones do you know that we think about ten thousand thoughts a day and most of them are negative so replacing these negative thoughts with positive thoughts can really help in your self-esteem. Now, boundaries. Teach the importance of setting and respecting personal boundaries. Letting other people know where their boundaries end and when yours start and where yours end as well. Self-care. Taking care of one's physical, emotional, and mental health. On that note, Sava root, African shea butter is here to help with your self-care needs as well. With Sava root's healing properties, you can take care of your skin and hair, healing your body with nature's gift. You can find this at www.savaroot.com. Developing confidence, skill development, Goals and support systems are all crucial to developing confidence. It encourages learning new skills and hobbies. It in the in and in these and when you are successful in these areas, you then can build self confidence because you know you've done it multiple times and now you have the skills. Because once you learn a skill, it's yours forever until you forget it hopefully you never forget it but once you have the skill it's not like someone could come take it from you right if you have money someone could always come take your money or something can happen in the economy and you lose all your money but once you have the skills they're yours forever right so you want to have skill development that'll make you feel a lot more confident and goal setting you have to set achievable goals daily weekly monthly, yearly, bi-annually, decades. You can set daily goals, hourly goals, 30-minute goals. For example, today I set up two goals for myself that I wanted to make and edit videos for the channel. And that's what I'm going to do. When I do that, I will get a boost of adrenaline or or dopamine, I, I should say, that will say, hey, you did that. We can go ahead and achieve 
next goals and keep going. That's how you build self-confidence. So if you're just sitting at home and you're just kind of doing nothing, it's hard to build self-confidence because you don't see yourself making progress towards your goals. That's why it's very important to set goals for yourselves and write them down. I'll actually give you guys a quick tip as well. There's one book that I would recommend right now. It's called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. And um, I should leave the description in the, uh, I should leave the title and the link to, in the description below. To Audible, you should get your first book free uh, through Audible with my link. So please go ahead and hit the link in the description below. I'll make sure I leave it there so that you guys can uh, check it out. The Alchemist is a great book and um, it makes sure that uh, it, go ahead and read it. I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's highly acclaimed. Um, I'm sure you've heard about it before. So practical applications, your decision making, uh, it's about making informed and confident decisions, trusting your judgment and learning from the outcomes. Gentlemen are able to handle criticism. They accept constructive criticism gracefully and use it for self-development because remember, everything in this world is going to work to help you in the end. Body language. So using confident body language, standing up tall and making eye contact and speaking clearly will help your message and help you communicate better. Right, so these are some practical applications for how you can build self-confidence. So you can do some um, role playing and uh, empowerment, uh, you know, such as self self affirmations. You can look yourself in the mirror and say, you know, self affirmations such as "I am strong," "I am great," "I am loved," "I am kind." These will uh, change the negative thoughts in your mind that are always telling you, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I'm so fat, I'm so this, I'm so skinny, I'm so th And it will change the way you think about yourself because believe it or not, the more you keep telling yourself these positive affirmations, your brain will go ahead and believe them. Everything you tell yourself over and over again, whether or not you want to admit it, your brain will take it as fact and agree with it because that's just how we're designed. We're human. Okay. So some benefits of self-respect and confidence include resilience. It enhances the ability to cope with challenges and setbacks. So there are a lot of challenges in this world. And as a young boy, you might not realize it yet, but the world is a mean and nasty place, right? Like they say, it's a mean and nasty place. So if you have self-confidence, you'll be able to realize that it's just temporary. Most situations are temporary. And if you have the right perspective and the right way of seeing things, you can cope with these um, situations and um, come back stronger. Empowerment. So taking initiative and pursuing your goals is a benefit of self-confidence because you know that you have all the tools in your toolbox because humans, all we do is we have tools, right? Just like the tools I'm using right now, a camera, um, lights, you know, laptop, all these things, they're just tools for us to go ahead and achieve our goals. So you can go ahead and you can look at the tools you already have rather than looking at what you don't have and saying, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this. You can look at the tools that you already have and I bet you, you have enough. You are enough, but you have to look at it that way. You have to look at what you already have and extrapolate from that. And then once you have goals, now you'll start putting your tools to work. And if you don't have enough tools towards your goal, that's when you go look for more tools or guidance or community or someone who can help you, right? So I'll go into um, another part, which is mentorship. I believe um, in order to really be self-confident, sometimes you do need a mentor who has done it 
and um, who has walked in your shoes and has achieved what you're trying to achieve. Maybe not exactly, but they have a path that you can just go through and um, you can just follow their path, hold their hand, and they'll show you how to do it. All right. This has been Black Gentleman Media. This video has been about respect. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Just let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.